Here's how I made this beautiful concrete pot. First, you're gonna need some supplies. So you need some sort of mixing tray, olive oil, gloves, a sifter, paper, towels, and a trash bag. And then obviously your mold. I used fast setting concrete mix that I found from Home Depot. And let's get started. So you're gonna wanna take the olive oil and place it all over the plastic part of your mold. You wanna really grease this pretty well because this is gonna be sticking to like a rubber silicone and you don't want that to stick. So place that back into the mold and next you're gonna to wanna to grab an N95 mask because you're gonna be sifting the concrete and you don't wanna breathe in that dust. Next we get to sifting. So the concrete you'll notice has some really thick rocks in it and you don't want your pot to have thick rocks. We're going for a really smooth finish and a really tight concrete pot. So as you can see, I'm sifting to keep all of the fine concrete and sort of setting aside all of the big rocks. And you wanna make sure that these big rocks that you're sifting out, that you save. And you can see here, they're pretty dusty, but once you rinse them and clean them, um, there's a lot of really beautiful blues and browns that are within the mix that you can use as almost a top dressing for your plants. And that looks a little bit something like this. So then I grab some water and I start blending my concrete. Again, I'm only using the powder here. And so I just mix that up really good. I'm not really a concrete expert, but I mixed it until it was sort of soupy and wet and at least had some sort of pourability. So I went on ahead and poured it into the mold. And as I was doing that, my wife was tapping the outside of the mold to get any bubbles or air pockets out. The kit comes with this little glue stick that you stick in the bottom of the pot. This is for water drainage. So once you get everything poured into the pot, you wanna set that in. And then here is for the reveal. So I got really impatient and I prematurely pulled this off. You really wanna wait a good two to three days until your concrete is completely dry. And you'll notice when I slide this off, the concrete still has its wet look but I was very anxious and I really wanted to see how this would turn out. So this is what impatience will get you, a cracked pot. Again, because it was still wet and it wasn't quite drying. I did get some water and ended up fixing it a little bit. And so here is the finished product once I've fixed a little bit of that crack. And then here's also what it looks like when it's dry. So the concrete, when it's still wet, has a much deeper and sort of greenish gray look, but it dries really pretty and really light gray. And of course, this is all dependent upon what type of concrete you are purchasing. Some concretes finish a little bit more white. Some concretes finish much darker. If you're interested in making one of these for yourself, I have linked the products that I used in the description and happy making.